so in this video we are gonna continue with our backend and in and today we are gonna make an api to get the list of all the sellers okay so that we can show it to the user and then the user will select one, his favorite uh, uh, seller and then we will show all the products that that seller has okay so let's get started with it so inside uh, uh let's go inside the seller table okay so over here i'll create a function to get the list of all the sellers okay so let's get started method to return the list of sellers so i can close this for now okay so let's start so it's public function uh, all sellers okay then over here we will have a instance of our database then our sql query is gonna be select and let's see what all data are what all uh, key value pairs are needed so for that i'll open my uh, database so as to see what all values we actually have at the moment okay so i don't know uh, how its theme got changed okay so now it looks better so i'll go in my better buy table inside seller uh, i think uh, by just giving the uh, name image and the address would be enough okay so what i am planning to do is is to show a list of sellers and then uh, with the basic details and from there user can select any of the seller and then we will be displaying the products for which we have already designed the screen so i think the id name image and address would do so we'll get only these things id name image address id name uh, image address we need to keep a close look on the spellings if we mess up the spellings everything is gonna go haywire so we will so the query is select id name image address uh, from this table okay so this is our very basic query now let's run it so it is result database query sql and once we run this we will get a result with all the table so we will then fetch the uh, fetch all the rows and for that in our database class we already created a function that is called fetch array so what we are going to do over here is uh, simply return database fetch array and it takes the our result instance okay so now what it will do is it will fetch all the uh, columns and then return it as an array and that will in turn be returned by this function okay so now let's create an api to call this function so inside api i am going to create a new folder that will be global or general so i'll call it general and inside this i'll create a new file that is sellers i'm sorry it needs to be sellers.php so i'm gonna rename it sellers.php uh, now it is gonna be like this with slight changes means all the apis are almost the same we have very slight changes here and there so i'll copy this paste it over here this is gonna be get because we are fetching the details from the database and not uh, adding anything or performing any query on the database so the most suitable type of request is gonna be the get request and the table here being used is the seller table so over here instead of getting the product table i am gonna get the seller table okay so it is just a seller now after this uh, we have this condition to check if it is of the mentioned type or not so let's do that over here it is gonna be get okay and then if it is not we have a else else we return this 
okay now after this uh, we can simply call that function and get the list so i'm gonna write uh echo json encode array success one sorry uh, this is gonna be sellers and it is seller which is the object of this class yes seller and then the function name okay so that is all sellers so i write it over here and this is done so what basically happened over here was that we checked if it is a get request if it is a get request then we give the output as success is one and as in the sellers we get the list of all the sellers and directly return it okay so the api is ready now let's try running it so for that i'll open my postman okay so this is the address of our api so i'm gonna simply paste it and change the last part so inside api we are inside a folder called gen so it is gonna be gen and then we are in the file sellers so i'm gonna write sellers okay so now let's hit send and see and we did get the list a list of all the sellers so right now we only have one seller now let's try creating another seller okay so instead of rishav kumar it is gonna be ayush singh and it can be ayush and the password instead of qwerty can be 123456 although it is not suggested okay and the address can be the same description can be the same and then let's register it okay so seller registered and now if we get the list of all the sellers then we are getting two sellers first one is rishav kumar and the second one is ayush kumar singh so with this uh, the api is complete uh, we have an api to get the list of all the sellers okay which we can use in the screen to display the list of the sellers for the user to choose okay so this was for the video thank you